don't, don't, don't call me Superman If you haven't found my crew What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cop 360 here And I shit you not For about one week There's been rumor after rumor after rumor About what is coming on the 16th of June In terms of AMD coming out with their new line The R9 R7 300 series of graphics cards there's just been rumor after rumor about you know what cards gonna be what what about Fiji it's gonna be called Radeon Fury or some shit like that are we gonna be seeing rebrands and all this other shit now this is gonna be the first of a few videos that's gonna build up lead up to the hype it's gonna fuel the hype the hype train to the 16th of June so firstly look let's start off and it's the issue of rebrands now there's been a lot of talk and a lot of um, how can I say this? Speculation and belief that AMD is apparently going to rebrand the entire, I mean the entire, <laughs> of the 200 series into the 300 series. So pretty much what's apparently going to happen is that the 390X is going to be the 290X, the 390 will be the 290, but of course... Both those cards, instead of having 4 gigs of VRAM, will have 8 gigs of VRAM as base. And then we've got the 380X, which is supposed to be based on Tonga XT. Now, if you guys didn't know, the R9, which is, sorry, the 285. If you guys did not know, the R9 285 was actually based not on Tonga XT, but on Tonga Pro. It was not a fully unlocked Tonga GPU, but it was essentially a new architecture, had all the new shit, all the good shit. Apparently, the R9... 380X will be based on Tonga XT, so there'll be a full-fledged Tonga chip, which should be 2048 stream processors, I believe. Uh, the pricing for that is not really there yet, and apparently the R9 380 would just be pretty much a direct rebrand of the 285. Now, let me get into pricing before I keep going down. Uh, the 390X is supposed to be $389, the 390, 329, no one knows about the Tonga XT, uh, the 384 GB model. Now this is, this is what's strange, there's a 380X right, 3 or 6 gigs, but then there's a 2 and a 4 gig model for Tonga Pro, the R9 380. Uh, apparently the 2 gig one is going to be 195 and the 3 gig one is going to be 235 so $40 for 2 gigs of VRAM. And you're both based on the same chip. Could be right, could be wrong. Still rumors. We're waiting for fucking one week from today. Uh, if we go down, we've got the R7 370. Keep in mind, yes, I did not say that wrong. I meant R7 because allegedly AMD is bringing the R7 down or the 370 or the 270X or the 7870. <laughs> you know, how far we're going to go rebrand of a rebrand of a rebrand or whatever. Um, they're bringing that down to the R7 segment. So you're not going to have true audio and all that other good shit yet. Um, if we go back down, we've got to have, that's going to go for the 4 gigabyte one. By the way, we'll go for $175. And apparently, the 2 gigabyte one, which is essentially the card I have, or close to it, is going to be going for $135. That shit's really cheap. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, and we're supposed to have the 360, uh, which is a 70, which is a 260X, which is 77.90, rebrand of a rebrand, at $107, which is very cheap. So, look, rebrand aside, this is some very aggressive pricing. I mean... A 390X, I mean, look, there's a whole other issue of whether the 290X was fully unlocked. I'll do another video on that, and that'll probably go up tomorrow. But, yeah, is the 390X, or the 290X, sorry, even fully unlocked? Because, look, it says here that the 390X will be an enhanced Hawaii XT, otherwise known as Granada. So, is Granada going to be the fully-fledged 3072 stream processor 290X card? The full Hawaii, we're going to see the full thing. Look, we don't know. There's a bunch of hype, there's a bunch of build-up. But, man, fuck, man, people are waiting for it. There's been just so much build-up, it's nuts. But honestly, I just want to see something happen, man. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And look, comment down below. Do you really think that AMD is going to rebrand the entire, essentially the entire 200 series into the 300 series and then have Fiji or Radeon Fury or whatever the fuck you want to call it at its own little thing? I mean, there's been a lot of talk and not a lot of walk. Just uh, shit going on, man. I mean... I guess AMD doesn't have the money to spend on R&D to invest a whole new architecture for a whole new line of cards, so it makes sense. So I guess technically, if they can price these aggressively, this shouldn't really be an issue. But who knows, guys? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and the big K. We'll see you later.